Good afternoon, I'm Glenn Walker along with Courtney Freel in the KTLA 5 studios. You are looking at a pursuit taking place in the Inland Empire east of Los Angeles. Mark Kono is up ahead in Sky 5. Hey Mark, can you tell us anything about this driver, how fast he's going, where he even is? Well, Courtney and Glenn, good afternoon. Yeah, this uh, pursuit was picked up by the LA County Sheriff's Department just a short while ago, maybe 20 to 30 minutes ago, out of the Walnut Station of the LA County Sheriff's Department here. They have basically made their way in towards LA County, and we are now southbound on the 605 freeway. In fact, uh, southbound on the 605 will just be coming on the Whittier Boulevard off-ramp. Now, what we have here is a silver forerunner that is occupied by, at the very least, two suspects wanted for burglary. Now, there may be more uh, or additional suspects, as they call it, inside of that vehicle here, but but this vehicle, again, traveling southbound on the 605 freeway, just coming up on the Whittier Boulevard off-ramp, traveling at a very, very high rate of speed. Depending on traffic conditions here, he has uh, reached speeds in excess of about 80 to 90 miles an hour. He's basically in a situation where, uh, based on traffic conditions, he's uh, weaving in and out of traffic as you see it right now. He's in the number one lane, right next to that HOV lane to his left. And uh, again, at least two burglary suspects wanted for the crime of burglary. Uh, initially, um, picked up by the LA County Sheriff's Department out of their Walnut Station here. So he is making his way through the Whittier area and down towards Santa Fe Springs, southbound on the 605 freeway. Now, bear in mind uh, where this uh, pursuit came out of was the Walnut Station here. They picked him up on the 57 freeway northbound, where he then picked up, uh, again, the 210 freeway westbound. And now, the 210 freeway to the south 605 is where we are right now. So he is basically making his way through LA County at this point. Southbound on the 605, the next off-ramp that he's going to be coming up on is going to be Washington. Now, we understand that uh, the CHP may be uh, also joining in on on this pursuit here. There are, oh, okay, it looks like he's going to be exiting right here at Washington. This is going to be a situation where he's going to have to slow down a little bit. There is a flatbed truck uh, about 100 yards in front of him, and he's closing in on it pretty fast. This is just a two-lane off-ramp, so let's see what he does. He's going to have to make that sweeper turn or make the quick right turn, and it looks like he's going to make the quick right turn here. This is uh, potentially not going to bode well for this guy. This is going to put him in a situation potentially where he may be stuck uh, by the fact that he's put himself into a neighborhood where there might not be an exit. So he is southbound on surface streets, uh, and he's going to make a right-hand turn into what looks like a cul-de-sac, and he's going to be off into the dirt here. He's going to be off into the dirt, and he is going to be uh, making his way over towards the San Gabriel River riverbed. He is now just on the east bank of the San Gabriel River riverbed, and he's going to make a northbound turn. Look at this guy. He is basically off-road and in the dirt. Because this is a Toyota 4Runner, this is uh, going to enable him to make these sorts of... Uh, moves a little bit uh, more readily and a little bit more easily. In fact, uh, none of the pursuing officers who are down on the ground uh, are, uh, are uh, you know, behind him at this point. He is basically being followed by the LA County Sheriff's Department airship northbound on the uh, eastern bank of the, uh, of the San Gabriel Riverbed, and now he is going to be kind of approaching uh, a situation where he, well, has, uh, you know, some room, to, some room to make a move here, guys. So we'll kind of see what he does. At least two suspects here want to for the crime of uh, burglary and again traveling on the San Gabriel Riverbed, the eastern bank heading back northbound over towards Whittier Boulevard. We'll kind of follow this and keep an eye on it. Guys? Well, I tell you what, uh, look where he is right now. That was one option for him to make a turn uh, and get back over to surface streets, and he's uh, basically let that op uh, opportunity go. So he's going to be staying on the eastern bank here. His next opportunity to get out of this particular situation uh, might be over towards Whittier Boulevard here. He just missed an opportunity right there to get back on surface streets, but maybe that's going to bode well for the Sheriff's Department and the folks who are pursuing him because, because he's in a relatively confined area that might allow resources to get ahead of him over, say, towards Whittier Boulevard or the next exit up, which is going to be Beverly, and uh, put them in a situation where they can anticipate uh, where his next move is going to be. So, again, he's just on the eastern bank of the San Gabriel Riverbed, and, again, he's in a Toyota 4Runner, basically is off-road uh, on that eastern bank of the riverbed going northbound, and he's about a quarter mile shy of Whittier Boulevard. Now, if he makes a move to the left, I don't know how he's going to get onto that uh, bike path, but that bike path does take him to uh, Whittier Boulevard here. Uh, just kind of looking at this, he might uh, be in a situation where he could be in a pickle here. He might not be able to get out of it uh, uh, with this vehicle. He might be uh, in a situation where he could be trapped. And there it is. His vehicle is basically stopped. Right there, we're going to see at least one person, the driver, get out, and he's going to make his way over the fence then into the uh, San Gabriel Riverbed. He's basically on the bike path northbound, heading up towards Whittier Boulevard here now. 
No unit. Well, actually, yeah, we do have units up on Whittier Boulevard, so uh, they're going to be ahead of this guy if he makes his way over to Whittier Boulevard here. So uh, they're going to be anticipating this guy uh, heading over in that direction. I do not see anyone else getting out of the vehicle, so uh, the information was that there was at least two people in the vehicle. So far, it looks like it's just one at this point, and he has made a turn into the San Gabriel Riverbed here, so he is going to be under the cover of some of this uh, vegetation and some of this brush. I mean, my guess at this point is that he would uh, prefer to, uh, you know, uh, give himself up at this point, but uh, we'll see what the efforts are as, uh, as they kind of close in on this guy now. The uh, officers uh, have now made their way up the eastern uh, up the eastern bank of the San Gabriel River here, so at least three vehicles are up there and up ahead of them on the north side over on Whittier Boulevard here. We do have uh, at least a half a dozen units waiting for him there, so we'll kind of see what happens as he hopefully pops out here. Yeah, Courtney, you saw it on our air just a couple of minutes ago here. The guy uh, basically exited Washington Boulevard off the South 605, went over towards the San Gabriel Riverbed and was driving in the dirt northbound on the eastern bank of the San Gabriel Riverbed where his forerunner basically uh, broke down on him or got stuck in the dirt and uh, he basically foot bailed. Now it is thought that uh, he may have entered this tunnel right there. So uh, the LA County Sheriff's Department deputies are on scene. They are at the entrance of the tunnel. It is thought that he might in fact have gone into that tunnel. Now where the, where the uh, tunnel ends up on the other end, we just don't know at this point. Deputies are just making efforts over there to uh, get to the mouth of this tunnel to see if they can coax him out or to make uh, some initial signs uh, to, uh, to get this guy out, he out of here. But uh, in the meantime, a burglary suspect uh, remains at large here in the San Gabriel Riverbed. This particular tunnel entrance is uh, along the San Gabriel River, along the eastern bank of it, just uh, oh, about an eighth of a mile south of Whittier Boulevard. Now, now there is a lot of activity here. This entire neighborhood is basically a containment at this point, including the neighboring side street. We're going to have a look at uh, Whittier Boulevard right there, where there are several officers and several CHP and deputies uh, staged at the entrance uh, of the bike path there, because it is thought that uh, uh, one of the manhole covers uh, in that neighboring area could be one of the places that this guy comes out of the neighborhood here. Now, if we shift over to the right, that's Redmond Avenue there, just on the other side of that water tank, and we have CHP and sheriff's deputies staged on Redmond Avenue as well. So there is a lot of activity here. This person is essentially still at large. We understand from a Sheriff's Air 7 overhead that they are now waiting K-9. So they're going to be bringing in dogs and they're going to be bringing in robots uh, to possibly make entrance into that tunnel, whichever uh, seems to be the, the more logical option at this point. It seems to me the dogs might be a good option here, but uh, that is going to be up to the incident, incident commanders uh, to make that decision when the time comes here. But one burglary suspect still outstanding, believed to be in the tunnel system here in the San Gabriel River between Whittier Boulevard and Washington. Guys, that is the update from overhead in Sky 5 HD. I'll send it back to you. Suspect gets out of the SUV. We believe it's a forerunner. Hops one fence, then starts running northbound along the San Gabriel River. Runs maybe 100 yards, 200 yards. He will eventually hop a second fence, tumble a little bit as he falls down into an area with some trees and some brush. And this is where things got interesting. He goes into a drainage tunnel on the east side of the San Gabriel River. This was just before 1 o'clock this afternoon. 1.30, L.A. County Sheriff's Department SWAT team arrives, goes into the tunnel. About an hour later, later they are told to get out for their own safety. So about for the past couple of hours, with uh, the help of L.A. County Public Works, Sheriff's Department deputies and the SWAT team are going manhole to manhole to manhole, opening them up over on the Whittier side of the 605 freeway, looking for the suspect. About a half hour ago, that active search here was called off. SWAT team was called off. Deputies reopened this stretch of uh, Whittier Boulevard, but I am told even though this was wrapped up here, they are following up on leads, still looking for that pursued suspect. Good afternoon, I'm Glenn Walker along with Courtney Freel in the KTLA 5 studios. You are looking at a pursuit taking place in the Inland Empire east of Los Angeles. Mark Kono is up ahead in Sky 5. Hey Mark, can you tell us anything about this driver, how fast he's going, where he even is? 
Well, Courtney and Glenn, good afternoon. Yeah, this uh, pursuit was picked up by the Alley County Sheriff's Department just a short while ago, maybe 20 to 30 minutes ago, out of the Walnut Station of the Alley County Sheriff's Department here. They have basically made their way in towards L.A. County, and we are now southbound on the 605 freeway. In fact, uh, southbound on the 605 will just be coming on the Whittier Boulevard off-ramp. Now, what we have here is a silver forerunner that is occupied by, at the very least, two suspects wanted for burglary. Now, there may be more uh, or additional suspects, as they call it, inside of that vehicle here, but this vehicle, again, traveling southbound on the 605 freeway, just coming up on the Whittier Boulevard off-ramp, traveling at a very, very high rate of speed. Depending on traffic conditions here, he has uh, reached speeds in excess of about 80 to 90 miles an hour. He's basically in a situation where, uh, based on traffic conditions, he's uh, weaving in and out of traffic as you see it right now. He's in the number one lane, right next to that HOV lane to his left, and uh, again, at least two burglary suspects wanted for the crime of burglary. Uh, initially, um, picked up by the LA County Sheriff's Department out of their Walnut Station here. So he is making his way through the Whittier area and down towards Santa Fe Springs, southbound on the 605 freeway. Now, bear in mind uh, where this uh, pursuit came out of was the Walnut Station here. They picked him up on the 57 freeway northbound, where he then picked up, uh, again, the 210 freeway westbound. And now, the 210 freeway to the south 605 is where we are right now. So he is basically making his way through LA County at this point. Southbound on the 605, the next off-ramp that he's going to be coming up on is going to be Washington. Now, we understand that uh, the CHP may be uh, also joining in on on this pursuit here. There are, oh, okay, it looks like he's going to be exiting right here at Washington. This is going to be a situation where he's going to have to slow down a little bit. There is a flatbed truck uh, about 100 yards in front of him, and he's closing in on it pretty fast. This is just a two-lane off-ramp, so let's see what he does. He's going to have to make that sweeper turn or make the quick right turn, and it looks like he's going to make the quick right turn here. This is uh, potentially not going to bode well for this guy. This is going to put him in a situation potentially where he may be stuck uh, by the fact that he's put himself into a neighborhood where there might not be an exit. So he is southbound on surface streets, uh, and he's going to make a right-hand turn into what looks like a cul-de-sac, and he's going to be off into the dirt here. He's going to be off into the dirt, and he is going to be uh, making his way over towards the San Gabriel River riverbed. He is now just on the east bank of the San Gabriel River riverbed, and he's going to make a northbound turn. Look at this guy. He is basically off-road and in the dirt because this is a Toyota 